Hello and welcome to this Nixperia quick learning video. My name is Steinhans Nesbach and I'm an application engineer here at Nixperia. Today we're going to talk about SOA and more importantly how SOA could be the make or break of the MOSFET in your application. So first things first, what is SOA? SOA stands for safe operating area and becomes important whenever the device is put into linear mode. Now the definition of SOA is the amount of power the device can handle for a certain amount of time before failing. And the power is the drain source voltage multiplied by the drain current. Now if we have a look at the SOA graph here, we have a drain source voltage on the x-axis and on the y-axis we have a drain current. Now the amount of power the device can handle is dictated by the amount of time the device is under that power. So if we put a certain voltage here for 10 milliseconds, that will allow a certain amount of current. If we put in more current, we're outside a safe operating area and the device is more at risk of failing. Now, as mentioned, SOA becomes important whenever the device is put into the linear mode. Now, what is linear mode? Linear mode is whenever the device is transitioning between the on and off states or vice versa. This means that when the gate source voltage is applied, there is a state where there's a large current and a large voltage across the device at the same time. Now, if, there's a, if the switching speed is fast, this doesn't really matter. But there are some applications which purposely put the device into linear mode. Now, one of these applications would be hot swap or soft start. Here, the device is used to limit the amount of inrush current the system sees to protect it. Now, another, another application would be where you are turning off a system and the voltage rail is slowly collapsing. As it collapses, the gate source voltage could follow and slowly transition through the linear region, again making SOA relevant. Another example would be short circuit protection. Here, the MOSFET will act as an E-fuse and it will see a large current across it. It will see a large current across it for a short amount of time, but because the current is so large, SOA again has become important. Now, the last example would be a motor drive circuit. Here, if the rotor locks, Depending on the uh, designer's solution, the device would have to switch that current. Now, why is all this important? Well, if a device fails because of the SOA rating being exceeded, the device will fail as a three terminal short. What this means is that the gate, source and drain all short together. To understand SOA better, let's have a look at the transconductance curve. This shows the characteristic behavior between the gate source voltage and the drain current. Now, there are two relationships to keep in mind of a MOSFET here. As temperature increases, RDS on increases. But as temperature increases, the threshold voltage, which decides whenever the device is turning on or off, reduces. This means that for the same gate source voltage, if temperature increases, the device turns more on. Now, looking at the graph here, at this, at this gate source voltage, there's a certain amount of drain current flowing. Heat will be made and this will reduce the threshold voltage, increasing the amount of current present, again increasing heat, and this will then spiral. Take into consideration that a silicon die doesn't have a completely uniform threshold voltage across it. Some areas will have lower threshold voltages than others. What this means is that some spots will heat up faster than others, creating hot spots. This effect is called the Spirito effect and could damage the device by burning into a short circuit in that specific area. If we cross the zero temperature coefficient point, then as the temperature increases, RDS1 increases, so the drain current reduces. This puts the MOSFET into a more stable area. Taking this into account, let's have a look at the trench structure. Here we have drain, gate, and source. Whenever we apply a certain amount of voltage to the gate, we have free charge carriers created in a channel around the gate as shown by the arrows. These, this is then current flowing from the drain up onto the source. With a stronger gate voltage applied, more charge, free charge carriers are uh, generated, which means RDS1 is re reduced, allowing more current. Now, what's important for SOA? For SOA, you want very strong current carrying capability, which means wider trenches, at the same time good cooling, which means again, wide trenches to allow for more efficient cooling. Now, on the other hand, if you want low RDS on, what you want to do is put more of these trenches in parallel, which allows, as with the resistors, more in parallel means that the overall resistance reduces. 
This is why many invest MOSFET vendors decide to rather change the pitch and narrow it all to put more trenches in parallel to reduce RDS on. This is effective, however, it comes at the cost of weakening the SOA. In contrast to this, Nixperia developed superjunction technology, which allows for very low RDS on without the need to change the pitch. Combining this with copper clip package technology, which allows for very efficient cooling, we can have a very low RDS on and very strong SOA all in one package. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. For more information, please visit Nixperia forward slash Next Power Live.